July 12th of 2009, I was uh, diagnosed with stage 3B non-small cell lung cancer, uh, adenocarcinoma. I was a little different than most people upon hearing my diagnosis. Uh, most people panic and think, oh my God, I'm going to die. My exact words were, of course I do, why wouldn't I? My mother also had lung cancer and I seemed to follow in her footsteps. I live my life like a softball game and my father taught me but after I got hit in the face with a softball when I was just starting out and I had cried, dropped my glove and the runners kept running and he was screaming at me, make the play cry later. I've got that competitive spirit so if you tell me no chance I'm going to say watch this. I just said well what are we going to do? Game on. I chose Highland Park Hospital for my treatment because well, my family's always gone there. My son was born there. Dr. Hensing and I worked together to come up with a treatment plan. Um, he gave me different options, traditional treatment, and there were some clinical trials available. Um, after discussing with him and my family, I decided on the treatment um, that my mother had since it worked so well for her. The regimen was chemotherapy and radiation for three months. It was brutal. There were good days and bad days, of course. Bad days were really bad, um, but this is my World Series. If I don't get up, make the play, I was gonna lose not just the season, but there wasn't gonna be another season to come back to. My mom always told me during my treatment, tomorrow will be better. Eventually it was. She was a trooper. They gave her a 15% chance of making it to surgery and no chance really of a year. And she went cancer free for 12 before it came back again. Um, unfortunately, um, after 14 years, uh, we just lost her uh, a year ago, September 4th. The Lifeline Support Program through Longevity is something that was very important to my mother and I. Uh, we both participate. I help one-on-one -on -one, uh, patients who are newly diagnosed with lung cancer. I'm helping people walk the same path that I did because why else am I still here? I'm also on the committee for the Longevity Breathe Deep North Shore Walk and Run. I met my now husband uh, five years ago. Uh, we started dating, things were great. He said that I was his forever, but he's not getting married. Well, on the walk, as I crossed the finish line, he walked up to me, said, baby, I just walked the two mile lung cancer walk with you. Would you walk with me for the rest of my life? and dropped to one knee and presented the ring and the crowd went wild. I'm proof. Here I am, I'm living here. I had a 5% chance of five years, eight years later. I met the love of my life after my cancer diagnosis. All I've got to say is, you know, don't plan to die, plan to live. There is life and love after lung cancer. <laughs>